Hey guys, my name is Luis Ojasweni. Welcome to 360 News Blog and thank you so much for joining me today. Guys, it's a beautiful Saturday. Well, I love this weather like this because it's a bit gloomy, it's cloudy outside. Some people prefer the sun, but I'm just like, it gets too hot here. So I love it like this. And y'all know, but if it's a Saturday, that means it's our weekend special. So I enjoy our weekend specials because you get to, you know, unpack exactly what transpired during the week with full details like you get more than enough time to look into a story and sometimes a story may make it to the headlines and then after that and now i want to cover everything with full information you know i don't know if you realize that i say well i usually have like my alcohol and stuff i took a break from alcohol so um, I, I don't like how it's treating me now. I shouldn't have taken that break because I mean, guys, I used to drink every day. I mean, a glass a day keeps a doctor away. <laughs> but I, I, I was like, okay, Louis, so try and see if you can um, spend trucs without drinking alcohol. You know, I was like, my personal, it be personal choice. Yeah, I'm that choose, but okay, I'm getting to make a new job. I can't because now I get stupid drunk. This is what I hate about taking breaks. So it's best if I drink every day, honestly. <laughs> Guys, I suffer. Well, I used to suffer a lot from drunk texting, and you know, some of my exes know this. <laughs> Sala is Zolo. Hi, boo. Hi, boo. Is Zolo. <laughs> I don't know what happened. I haven't had tequila in a while. And, guys, I, I probably had like two shots of tequila and a couple of cocktails and maybe two ciders. But I was so drunk. <laughs> so, if you got a stupid text from me last night between 10 o'clock and 12 o'clock, just know that I did not mean it. Also, can we move past a. Uh, it drank texts quickly, guys. I, I just feel like I want to text telling Lily Libra. Exceni, just get over it. Forget about it. What do you think? As I said, it drama in detail because it's a lot and it involves a lot of men. I, I, I just couldn't understand how I was able to communicate with so many men <laughs> at the same time. Ooh, Mel Rose Mara ye Namara Palisale Ballo. Awa. <laughs> but my drama is not so bad compared to Abo Ino and them. So, oh, you know, Sana made it here as well, but she's. We're gonna talk about her a bit later. Let's start with Ukanyi Bao. Hi, Bao! Ukanyi, I, I love Ukanyi because she is literally a pop queen. Like, she, she's a real socialite. She, whatever, whatever she thinks of herself she is exactly that so she made it to our 90 degrees so I i'm sure a lot of you guys have seen um young a fa uh, famous in african um that that reality show on netflix and guys between i you know what when i watched in young famous in african i just i just i just had that moment when i was at the leonardo Ooh, and then they told me about what kind of is there. So I could relate to the show. So, well, I checked out the show and I, I, I loved a couple of people. And okay, Nadia. <laughs> I didn't really get what Nadia was doing there. Because Nadia, I did not know drama. Like she was present but absent. I don't know. And also, uh, what was she trying to do with. with Diamond Platinums, I'm just like, no ways. It was going with Diamond. Guys, with Diamond Platinums is so disrespectful. Like, this guy is like, um, I may be pursuing you or I may be in a relationship with you, but you must know that um, my ex-wife or your baby mama is my queen. I'm just like, how, how is anyone going to take you seriously if you're going to um, put her first in, in everything, yet you're no longer with her? And yes, if you need to sort out issues with... Um, with Uzari, the boss lady, and then sort them out. <laughs> so, Kanye Mba, Uzana wa kumba, wa kumba. I feel like she was exerting pressure, because now Uzari was just too much of a diva. Oh, well, I, when I checked out the show, I also saw that she was, oh, she, she was a bit diverish, especially when she was confronted by Umpaz Gatubaba. But 
dude, what are, why what, is there anything happening between you and my husband? Like, I don't. I, why is my husband so interested in you? First of all, nah, she shouldn't have done that. Nah, you can't land on to get straight because I mean, I'm down. And even if Zari is a flirt, Zari is a flirt. Um, so even if she was a flirt, I I feel like I wouldn't focus on her. I'd focus on my husband. So okay, in Bauzana, what do you uh, because Zari was that much of a diva and they they were on a blue train to Mpumalanga I'm sure you saw that but it was so scripted though like there's there's no realness to it it's so scripted I feel like that trip was also sponsored I mean it's a blue train I feel like it was also sponsored so okay I'm going to take a exposure to Zari I'm going to take a look at Zari I'm going to take a look at Zari so I mean this whole thing is sponsored but you know when they script these reality shows, they make they would want it to they want it to make it seem like um you know somebody paid for it or whatever. Guys, yeah can get layo, yeah can get layo a blue jay. Make it DJ. Hi bo I can activate you can you know. I'm like, dude, how do you tell somebody on national TV that she is a hoe? Because basically that's what you he was saying. He was saying about she's in a different limo every week. Hi bo. Yeah, yeah. Why is Anna only kid? But I, I like honest people like him. I just don't know if he chooses his platforms well. But what's your take? I also want to know what you think of the show. I just think it was too scripted, man. I enjoyed some parts of it, um, but I didn't get enough details of everything else. But I, what other thing I've learned? Sorry to diverge from Okanyi. Um, <laughs> but one other interesting um, thing I've learned about the show is that it, it, you know. It, Naked is so real that um PPP bend him tanda, PPP even dika. Because I bend him tanda corner when he was like he doesn't want to spend the whole week with his girlfriend. He must see his girlfriend two or three times a week. I absolutely agree. I am not the clingy one, so I don't want to chill with you all the time. And this again does my desire ladies. Nia's Londo. Naked was not I'm sure he was speaking on behalf of all these other men because men are like that and f women tend to think just because of the emotional um i'm at the dinner but but i don't know guys sometimes just, they just want to smash and pass hey, <laughs> 180 degrees goes to <laughs> guys i know i'm going to diamonds and dolls and you Diamonds and Dolls had Inomoru Long in it. But I feel like Ino has been popular for quite some time. Just that Diamonds and Dolls got her there. I, um, I feel like it was a big break. And yes. But it, like, so it, it, it also allowed a lot of people to pay attention to her. Now, she was spitting fire on Instagram. Hi, bo! <laughs> so there's, she used to be besties with Putebo Hotobejane, who is on Muvango. Pardon me, but now they're not friends anymore. And now she wants to expose the whole and well they had a public one and a feud in public. I'm just like as one thing I know like for for me to even go live on Instagram and be like, listen, I know three of your sangomas. It just doesn't jail. She doesn't like using protection. She's <laughs> And she's been with a president. That was the most interesting detail. So she's been with the president. Hey, play president, guys. I would like to know. But I know a lot of a lot of um people. <laughs> and flu banjo. So this is now allergic, right? Um. Well, it's not allergic because I, well, it is allergic. Let me just rather say it's allergic, so that I'm safe. Um. So Cyril's side chick goes to a particular um, salon in four ways and Melville. So we know he's got, you know, girls around, but now for Undo Uino to expose Debo Honjalo, that was not cute. But what's your take? Do you think friends can should fight like that? Like, uh, why do friends fight like that? Why would you want to expose everything that you know about me? Just because we're not friends anymore. And Leo Bao, <laughs> she's obsessed with Faith in case it was just a joke. I was like, they were good. Go take it now. I go talk about like a thousand rand. Go and move and go. Hi, bro. A thousand rand. Go take it now. Le Mali. Anya Oyenza. I'm sleeping with these Nigerian men and sugar daddies. You know, I feel like now we. 
Just find a guy, bro. Because now you don't go for broke guys. So if you're gonna say, um, um, I'm not, I'm sleeping with um, maybe married men or whatever. I feel like the ex, the degree um, is the only difference between you guys. Because you also don't go for broke guys. She doesn't want to go for broke guys. Just like she wants to sleep with more broke guys. I don't. I mean, more rich guys. I have no. I don't know. What's your take? Ngalibali o commenta pants in the kabao. Two seventy degrees goes to Samizi. Ooh, congratulations, Samizi. We're gonna have some downtime with Samizi. Um, he's having a new talk show, which will be on, I think, One Magic. Oh, something. Yeah, it's about One Magic. Now you're telling your sixes guy April. Congratulations, girl. Oh, you are. But Samizi is a superstar, and um, I I enjoyed dinner dinner at Samizi's. That was a brilliant show, and I, I, I love how he would, you know, interview these celebrities and, you know, have a good time with them whilst eating and drinking. That was, that was amazing. So I I'm looking forward to this one. I cannot wait to see it. I wonder, is Like, what are you gonna cover? Are you gonna have celebrities over? Like, how is it gonna be? I can't wait to see it. So, shout out to you, girl. Congratulations, so easy. Congratulations. I, I really thought that Muhale would, you know. Um, destroy your career, but you're a superstar and Sana you are able to make things happen. I mean he had that Mohori Monday is a chill out now. He has another um, regular cookout at um, The zero and two lifestyle. So that means Sana Mofkaze Zamayo once again Congratulations Congrats Samizi 360 degrees goes to Uncle Waffles whoop, 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 whoop. Okay, so Uncle Waffles is a gorgeous DJ, I won't even lie. She is so gorgeous. And um she's quite popular for her facial expressions when she dances because guys, she is amazing. I'm guys not Java, so I'm guys no men's sister. But I know that the girl is an entertainer. So even when she's playing music, you know, being a DJ in, at a club, she's also quite entertaining. I can find other DJs too. I'm gonna sit. Yeah. Yeah. No, she is there, she dances, and she's hot, you know? So now, she was live on Instagram recently. I don't know if it's Zolo Rizzo, but um, Drake jumped in. Why she's a top DJ? <laughs> Which I found really cute. I was like, okay, oh nice. Uh, getting some recognition from Drake. Woo! I was really happy for her. But now a lot of people on Twitter were just like, no, Drake just wants to smash. I also agree. <laughs> I also agree, but I also feel like if he wanted to smash, he would have done it ages ago. I mean, he could have DM'd her or spoke to his management to find her. You know, Drake is powerful, man. He does not need to comment on a live video for him to like get ass. I, I, I honestly feel like he has all the money in the world. He could actually fly his ass down to South Africa to, just to see this DJ. Or maybe fly her out to, to LA or wherever he is. So, I'm like, mm, this could be true. <laughs> this could be true. But I want to know what you think. So drop a comment and let me know. Do you think he wants bums? Do you think he was just admiring her? And but for somebody to go live to to join you to join you live on Instagram means that they follow you. Yeah, well, if if like not with my with the people that I follow. I get a notification when they go live on Instagram, so I can check them out if I want. If I don't, then and then there's Maza. So maybe I Drake like, many notification because he follows her, and then I was just like, I don't know what I'm explaining. Honestly, I don't know. <laughs> but if you think Drake just wanted bams, also drop a comment and let me know. But if you think it's cool and cute that um, our local celebrities Abashe get such recognition from international stars. Also drop a comment and let me know. That brings us to the end of today. Thank you so much for joining me. It's been amazing. Guys, I'm going hang in. I don't seem like I'm hanging. And I just before I wrap things up, I really do want to apologize to the people that I've sent texts to. <laughs> I remember a phone call even. Oh my god, guys, I'm not I'm gonna stay away from tequila, so expect no drunk texts from me in the future. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me, guys. Let's interact on social media platforms. On Facebook, I'm Loiso Hasmeni. On Twitter, I'm at Loiso underscore R. And on Instagram, I'm at Loiso Hasmeni. And let's 
keep this conversation going on social media as well. From me to you, it's the biggest love. I love you so much. Mm. Ah. <laughs>